Albin is administered by mouth for 5 to 21 days for a coccidia infection. This protocol can be costly and take too much staff time for the treatment to be practical in an overcrowded, high-traffic shelter. Even a small rescue can find compliance difficult with a minuscule volunteer base or veterinary staff. The part that is most concerning to me is that the drug will only inhibit the reproduction of cysts so elimination of coccidia is very slow since you are then playing a waiting game. Ponazuril 227 mg per milliliter is given at a one-time dose to eliminate all life stages of coccidia without having to worry about compliance or the spread of coccidia further into your shelter or rescue while you wait out the infection. The drug is extremely safe and has been shown in various studies to be exceptionally effective at reaching a complete cure. It can be given up to three days for severe cases of coccidia. Ponazuril is more fear-free once you consider the amount of stress that will be reduced along with the isolation time from familiar littermates. I strongly urge veterinarians and shelters to consider the use of ponazuril for effective coccidia elimination. I actually administer ponazuril on intake to every single kitten and cat as a prophylactic to prevent entry in the first place. The typical dosage for ponazuril is 0.1 cc per pound of body weight. I find that the marshmallow flavor counteracts any bitterness of the medication when compounded. Some old school veterinarians who have not remained up to date on recent literature may not know about ponazuril and the benefits of incorporating it into a shelter or rescue environment. Please direct them to this video and the Court Shelter Medicine website for further information on this treatment protocol. This drug is typically compounded by Roadrunner Pharmacy and is fairly priced in my opinion. For legal reasons, I need to tell you that this should not be a substitute for advice from your veterinarian. I am a registered veterinary technician, certified cat behavior consultant, and a licensed pharmacy technician which means that I will be posting a variety of interesting content. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment below about your experience with coccidia and the treatment of coccidia in the shelter rescue, or even the home environment. If ponazuril is still too expensive, you may look into my upcoming video on toltrazuril.